Run for your life! Zombie math. Hi, my name is Brian Veach from Smart Space at NIU. Today's video covers infection question number four, titled Linear Growth in Circles. Suppose patient zero is located on an XY plane at the coordinates zero, zero. The infection area is a circle centered around the patient. At time zero, the radius for the infection area is two miles. Every day, the radius increases by 15 miles. How large is the infected area after four days? Round your answer to the nearest square mile. Let's take a look at what's happening here. We have an XY plane, which is basically a graph, with a zombie planted at the coordinates 0, 0, in other words, the origin. Initially, the radius of the infection area is 2 miles. But with each passing day, the radius is increasing by 15 miles. We need to find the radius after 4 days and then use the area of a circle to find how large the infected area is. The easiest way to find the radius is to set up a small table. On the left, you have the number of days, and on the right, you have the corresponding radius. At time zero, in other words, t equals zero, the radius is two miles. Since the radius increases 15 miles per day, when t equals one, the radius is now 17. When t equals two, the radius is 32. When t equals 3, the radius is 47. And when t equals 4, the radius is 62 miles. Knowing the radius, we can now use the area formula for a circle. The area of a circle can be found by using the formula a equals pi times r squared. Let's replace r with 62 miles. Calculating this, we get a equals 3,844 pi, or, when you plug it into your calculator, 12,076 square miles. That's what it is rounded to the nearest square mile.